Okay, so we're going to measure voltage here. Let's go to 4 volts. This little battery is 1.5 volts, so if we pull this where we can see it, hook it up here to our meter. Voila! 1.56 volts, so it's a good battery. Now, I'm going to give you a little analogy to think about <clears throat> voltage. Think of voltage as, let, let's think of this as water. So voltage would be the actual water pressure. So this electricity, or in our analogy water, is wanting to go through this wire and then come back to the other wire. So you have a pressure that's pushing it through. And this pressure, think of it as voltage. Now current, think of current as the size of the pipe. So this is a little battery. I mean sure it's one and a half volts, but you could have a bigger battery, say a, a D cell battery. I don't have one. That would be cool for my video, but if you had a D cell battery, it's still one and a half volts. But think of the pipe being bigger. So that's kind of the difference between voltage and current. There's one more thing you need to know. There's voltage, current, and resistance. Um, and then you kind of get the whole picture. So you have voltage here. Right now, you know, we have 1.5 volts of pressure. But, you know, we aren't really using much energy. My meter just barely consumes enough energy for it to know, you know, how much is there. So we aren't consuming much. So let's actually consume some energy. So we're going to put a load on here. And um, let's put a resistor in here. So we'll take our lead here. We'll put a resistor. Let's start with a 1K ohm resistor. So it's going to resist how much energy can go through here or current. So if we look here, we go ahead and attach my meter back to it. Lo and behold, it's still one and a half volts. That's how much pressure is on this. This is reducing basically the size of the pipe. So the size is smaller, but we can still see there's one and a half volts on here. That's how much pressure is on. If we went to see to current, let's um, switch my meter around here. I have to switch the leads to amps. 1.6 milliamps. See the milliamps over here. So it's 0 0.001 amp because of this handy resistor we put in there. It's slowing it down, the current. Now, let's change to a 10K resistor. Well, it's even less. It's, it's uh, 0.2 milliamps, 0.16 milliamps. So if we took this resistor out of the loop and did a dead short to see how much current, you know, wide open pipe, the largest pipe possible, we'll get, uh, it overload. Let's move my leads around here. So 3.2 amps. That's a dead short. That would only last for a few minutes or a few seconds before this battery was drained. Um, so you can see how a resistor, it's basically like a little valve. If we're looking at this like water pressure, the water wants to go through and the voltage was 1.5 volts but you know this is changing the size of the pipe if you didn't have a resistor in here it's like increasing the size of this pipe so the, it's the amount of energy the pressure is 1.5 but you're changing the size of the pipe from a tiny little quarter inch pipe which you can only get a tiny amount of energy through, but if you had, say, a four inch pipe at 1.5 pounds, you're gonna get a massive amount of energy through. So that's 
maybe a little confusing, but um, it's kind of how I like to think of it. Voltage, current, and resistance. Voltage being the pressure, as in water pressure. Current being the size of the pipe. And then a resistor basically being a valve that is controlling how much can get through.